Social media circulating a new video of alleged abuse by an officer. It's a little bit difficult to watch. It was uh, Monday morning. I was like, oh, yo, get your cameras, get your cameras. <laughs> A shocking confrontation witnessed by a classroom full of students. It is disturbing to say the very least. We're dealing with the generation of kids who do not respect authority. How could they let me go to jail for that? A girl got physically assaulted. Two girls were arrested. Oh, wait a minute, you got criminal charges. These are two girls. After the assault at Spring Valley, I came here to see how I could support the girls and their families. And I'm Vivian. Schools are a microcosm of what we see in our world. There are more layers here to uncover. What was the teacher doing? Who called the officers to the classroom? There is a context out of which this emerges. My story was a good story because it was a white deputy and a black girl. It's time for me to open up, and I want other kids to get their education and be safe and feel like that's not going to happen to them. I just couldn't walk away. There's no reason that you should have been called in, period. You're still a cop in a school. You can put an SRO on it, you can put security on it, you put whatever you want on it. You're a cop. He would not have behaved that way if he didn't feel confident that the entire system was going to back him, which it did. Since 2000, something like 30,000 kids were charged with disturbing schools. The struggle between a school resource officer and a, a student, student to the ground. ground. We're coming for all your schools next, so just get ready. I lived that moment. So when I saw that video, a lot of stuff came up for me. And I was like, no, they don't get to walk this alone. I know what it means to walk it alone. We chose these grounds because this South got something to say. And even more so, we got something to teach.